What's up, guys? What's going on, man? I'm back. I'm Paul. This is Pauline Theology's Daily Devo, and we are continuing on the Samson saga. We got a short one today, chapter 15, 18 to 20. And uh, if you haven't read it yet, go ahead, stop it, cut the sound, pause, do what you got to do, read it and come back. If you read it, man, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what has happened? Well, we only got three verses, not much. But a bunch has happened. It's funny how small verses can often carry a lot of weight because of what's going on in it. Well, it looks like after Samson has defeated all of those Philistines where he busted those dudes heads like a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of a donkey. He was real thirsty. I mean, he did put in some work, didn't he, man? He knocked some folks out with that jawbone. And now he says he was very thirsty. And so he he calls upon the Lord. Uh, and, and when he calls upon the Lord, he says, man, you've given these guys this great salvation into the hands of your servant. You know what I'm saying? He's coming to him kind of humble. And he says, but now I'm going to die of thirst and fall before these uncircumcised Philistines. And then it says after that, that the Lord split open a, a, a rock and that the water flowed from it and that his, uh, he quenched his thirst his soul was revived and he lived and because of that samson called that place uh the rock of calling or iron uh hakare and that's the the rock of calling and it's still that way to this day man that's that's a crazy statement man i i, I, I want to talk about that one day maybe we'll we'll do that another time but then it says Samson judged the uh, uh, judged the people for forty years. So what? Uh, I'm sorry, Samson judged the people for twenty years. So um, what is 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 being portrayed about God in this particular scripture today? Well, I think what we see is that God remains gracious. God is gracious. That's the theme of the book. Two themes of the entire book, if you're just tuning in, is that one, God is a gracious God, a great God of salvation. And two, that the people are looking more and more like the people that they were supposed to drive out, serving their gods, their doing the things that they do rather than worshiping God the way he has called them to worship. Two big themes. The people are farther away from God, looking more like the people they were supposed to kick out, and then God being gracious and saving them despite all of that. And so today we see that in full flesh, that God is saving Samson. He is saving Samson. Even after this huge victory, which Samson acknowledges... Yes, he acknowledges, but I feel like in the way that Samson has been portraying himself throughout the narrative of his pride and his desire to do what he wants to do, that he is only saying these things to placate the Lord, to get him to do what he wants him to do. And so he's like, the hands of your servant He even says Lord as the divine name, Yahweh. He says he called upon Yahweh. But God, being gracious, saves him. What about man? Well, I think what we see about man in this is that man is prideful. Bro, it is so hard for us to be humiliated, to be humbled. And and the right term is to say humble. But Samson's going to learn and God is going to put him there. And in the end, we're going to see some powerful stuff happen because of it. But the pride of man is so tough that Samson, even after God has saved him, delivered this great salvation, which he talks about. And then he calls upon the name of the Lord and the Lord delivers him from his thirst. He decides to call the place not after the Lord or or not after some kind of thing in which he brings glory or brings honor to the name of God. But instead, he says, the place where I called. The place where when I called water came. Man, that's tough. He said it's called or I mean, I'm sorry, I said that it was called the the rock of of calling but it's called the spring of calling and so 
He's like, when I called, water came. Like the power was in him. Samson, what's going on? You like all of us, huh? This is the this is the plight of every man. Well, what can we learn from this situation? What can we get out of this? How can we apply these truths to our lives? Well, I think that first off, we have to recognize and accept the gracious gift of God. And then I think that we should remain humbly in it. We should see how awesome his mercies are. And then whenever we look at or act towards or see other people, that graciousness that he gives us should flow out of us. You see, when we recognize that it ain't because of how good we are, it ain't because of how awesome we are that God blesses us, then that frees us up to be able to bless others. It's because we recognize that it ain't by our power that all of the gifts have come to us, but only by God's goodness and his grace. So think about God's goodness and his grace this afternoon, this morning, uh, today, whatever it is. And let it flow through you as the application is to be reminded of how good and gracious God is. I'll see you guys in the next episode.